So the opening event on the program, Jared, you'll be interested in this. Only two horses have won from Barrier One this week. Rainier and Best of Days are both in the mile, which is today. Manuel goes from one today. They're the only two to win from Barrier One this week. Well, interesting. Well, Manuel's not going to be the hot horse. It's going to be Eshterak, which is our worst way here late with Tab at the $6. And Bruce, as far as the VRC Sprint's concerned, Red Seal's 360 into 340, Ooh. so firmed again. Wow, 340. You bet $5. That's amazing. Hey, Richo, I know you can hear me. Eshterak, um, he's the hot horse. Has there been a little bit of drama with him or not? Yeah, there has been an incident out here, and this is the part of the fence that Eshterak actually kicked. So he's making his way out through the gates here onto the track, and uh, he gave this steel fence a very serious very serious kick so you can imagine the people who were standing here were absolutely frightened so he's made his way out now i think he has thrown his shoe so they'll have to adjust his shoe um, he'll be replated and also he will be vetted before uh, that moment there Estrak, who is our hot horse Gee, we're just having a look now, uh, Jason. So, and Chris Simons, I know you're listening to us. And welcome, by the way, Chris. We've already seen that wonderful story with you and he Scott Leckie. Good. And uh, you're around at the barrier. And there's Tarak, is everything OK? Uh, look, I think they're scratching this horse. Uh, they were going to reshoe it. But um, the head vet here, Grace Forbes, has just ruled a line through this horse, I believe. Let me just double check. Is this horse scratched? Can I get you over here for one sec? He stood on the toe clip of his shoe, so he's obviously bruised his shoe and uh, his hoof, might add, and uh, yeah, he, they've put a line through this horse. Okay, just let me go back to the tab. He's the hot horse, Jared. What, what difference does that make him coming out? Yeah, well, there'll be deductions that apply, and uh, those deductions will be announced after the race, Bruce. So basically, uh, when there's a scratching, bookmakers have a right to take a deduction, which just de decreases the face value of your ticket. Who's the next hot horse? Uh, it will be Manuel then. Uh, three dollars now but uh, that market is just being recalibrated with the scratching he stood on the toe clip of his shoe which means here you'll see him kick he's missed it there but he's got it right there he's moved the shoe on that hind foot back underneath his foot and every shoe has a little toe clip that sits on the outside of the hoof and that toe clip's been pushed back on his sole and he stood on it so he's probably perforated the sole of his foot and the vets will not let him run if he's done that yeah, it's not surprising that he, he did a bit of damage there because kicking that uh, iron uh, fence would have, would have, he would have felt it. And you notice he was going out a couple of kicks and then he did it and he went, oh, hang on, I think I won't be doing that again. And just as he's got down to the start, they've checked him over and realised that it's not not right for him to take his place. It's a good decision. So Luke Nolan only had three rides today in the first three races, so he now forfeits this one. And, uh, and the horse was well fancied and you thought he had a chance, didn't you? Yeah, I mean, he looked great in the parade ring. He was just coming back into a bit of form, a good last start win. So it's a shame he can't run here but hopefully it won't be long before he's back in action. He was my tip, but I think I'll go with Manuel now. Fair enough. Uh, always gives you good service, Manuel. So let's go to Matt Hill for his call of the opening event on Stakes Day. Pretty well second up on City and Ruler. The, 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 the horses are on the track.